upfront and outspoken with Bob Williams. If you love the Constitution, man is not free unless government is limited. If you love freedom, as government expands, liberty contracts. If you believe in personal responsibility, if you believe America is still the greatest nation on earth, then get ready for an experience you'll never forget. This is Upfront and Outspoken. Here's your host, Bob Williams. And welcome back. This is Upfront Outspoken. Of course, I'm your host, Bob Williams, with you here on this hump day. Uh, I love it when the interns screw things up. Everything was supposed to be queued up. Everything was supposed to be ready, and yet they uh, they messed it up. What can I tell you? This is you know live radio. Expect that to happen. On the phone with me, as promised, is Sean Hamilton. He will be appearing... Uh, March the 2nd at uh, at a benefit concert for Corey. Good morning, Sean. Glad to have you back. Good morning, Mr. Bob Williams. Uh, it's good to be back this morning. You know, I, I, we, we've been hearing a lot about the upcoming event on, the, on, on March the 2nd, and I'd like to get a little bit from you, you know, what this is for, you know, who is this going to benefit this time around? Uh, well, this time it's for uh, a child that has a rare liver disease, Corey, and uh, she had a liver transplant on February the 5th, and from my understanding, all the proceeds will go uh, to help uh, with medical bills and, and such. Um, I'm honored once again to be able to be uh, a part of something that is uh, that will definitely be a blessing to someone and also to, you know, to bring awareness again to things that can suddenly happen in people's lives, especially children. You know, it's, it's, uh, it, it, it's, I, I want to say it's, it's, it's great that uh, when these benefits uh, come up, you know, I see your name uh, pop up uh, every time, every time. Uh, this is what you get for having a big heart and wanting to help children. And uh, once again, you know, I have to thank you for, uh, you know, helping James out and, and getting this off the ground. Now, do you know exactly where this venue is going to be held at, or is that still up in the air? Uh, the event will be held at John A's, which is on Music Valley Drive out by Opryland, and it will start at 4 p.m. on March the 2nd. Now, do you know some of the uh, uh, other artists that are going to be there? Uh, yes. As a matter of fact, uh, Ron and uh, Leona Williams. Uh, Leona wrote uh, some Merle Haggard records and, and uh, is an amazing songwriter. Uh, also back on uh, this show with us, Bob, is uh, Jimmy Payne, uh, Michael McGregor, uh, Chaz Wesley, and a good friend of mine, Michael McGregor, will be there, and and many more. And uh, from what I understand, there's going to be a couple surprise guests, like there was uh, on February the seventh there on the event that we did. Um, there's going to be some surprise guests, and, and there's no telling who's who's liable to show up, man. Uh, you know, when word gets out about uh, these type of things, you know, uh, usually it'll touch someone's heart, and they'll just show up and be a part of it, and which we're we're very thankful for that as well you know the the, the being a journalist <laughs> you know uh the thing is when you when you tell me a surprise guest that that automatically uh raises every red flag and every red blood cell in a journalist can you tell us who one of these special guests might be um well no, I can't. I can't disclose that right now um, because I've been asked not not to do that. And uh, I guess, Bob, you know, in the entertainment business, that's why we call it a surprise. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but in, I, it, I do know this. I do know this that everyone uh, that is involved with uh, performing at this event and the people that will be there uh, definitely will. Uh, be surprised and be entertained and be glad that uh, 
these people showed up. So we're, we're definitely looking forward to that, man. I'm just really, at this point, I'm just really trying to stay focused on, um, as you know, I've been writing songs for a new project to do later this year, and um, I've been asked to do other benefits for uh, other fundraisers and such. And, and as I said, you know, the last time that I was on the air with you, you know, I, I really believe in doing this and, um, you know, overcoming uh, obstacles and personal issues and health circumstances and things that I've had in life. I have a big heart for that now, Bob. And let me make myself perfectly clear this morning. I do not do these events or shows as to promote Sean Hamilton. I do these events, hopefully, that if somebody knows the name Sean Hamilton and knows what I do as far as the music and how my performances is live and such, then hopefully it will attract someone to come and to make a donation and to be a part of something that's really great, man. And um, I'm honored to, to be able to do that, as I've said before, and I'll always say it. Uh, I'll say it today, and I'll always say it, that I'm honored. And I just look at it like this, Bob. I just try to be an ambassador of God's love and God's grace in the world now because he's been so good to me, and the only thing that he asks of me is to return that and to give that to other people. So that's basically what I'm about in my life now. Well, I, I, I'm glad you uh, you clarified that because it, you know uh, you know you and I have had uh, discussions off air, but I and, and I promise you we were not going to uh, talk about that at all. And I intend to keep my word. You know, and I, and the thing is, what what I like about you, Sean, is that you you like so many others, and and I can't just say you specifically. You're not looking for the uh to build a name because you're going to these benefits but you in fact are giving back to the people that need it the most and 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 i have to commend you on making the the, these strides to help others but you know the question is you know, a lot of people would, you know, you, you, you hear Bruce Springsteen uh, Steen going out there. You hear, you know, Bono going out there. It seems that a lot of the, uh, I want to say, mainstream artists are more in it to, you know, self-promote. But yet, here are all the independent artists that are getting involved in such benefits are not doing that. And it, it, it does make me wonder, how do you separate the fact that you're going to be going to a benefit and not self-promoting? Well, the thing is with me is I, is I stay focused on what the purpose is. What is, my, what is my real purpose for being here? And I've been a part of these uh, shows and events before of where kind of standing on the sidelines, you know, it's uh, it's easy to see the actions of other people, and I've seen, and not to pass judgment or anything, but I've been involved in some of these shows and stuff before of where I could actually see some of the artists and songwriters and such really caught up in the moment of being kind of in star mode instead of being really there for the purpose of what they're doing, even though, you know, okay, yeah, I'm showing up, I'm performing here, but you still could tell that it was about them instead of being for the child or for the person that the proceeds or that this benefit was about. So bottom line with me when I'm involved uh, with these type of shows and events and stuff, um, I just really stay focused on the reason that I'm there, and the reason that I'm there is to give back, is to lend my talent, is to lend my name in the music business or whatever, hopefully to be able to help to make a difference, not only in the world, but in my own life, 
and and hopefully to make a difference in other people's life. And I and I'm really stuck on that. Some people may say, "Well, it sounds like he's just being repetitious." Or, "No, I'm not. I'm really focused on that. That's what I believe." And as I said on the air before, the first time you had me on the show, I still believe that each and every one of our lives in the world has to do with seeds. The seeds that we plant will be a great harvest, especially when we plant good seeds. If you plant bad seeds in life, I know that from experience, those seeds have a harvest. But if you plant good seeds, those seeds have a great harvest. You know, the you brought up the uh, fact earlier that you have uh, a few other benefits coming up here. Uh, you want to tell us a little bit about that? Um, sure. I've got, uh, I don't know all of the details. I do know that I've got one in South Carolina coming up in April, and it is for uh, a young man that has uh, a brain tumor. And uh, once again, I think it's to... Um, you know, to help with medical bills. You know, that, that seems to be, you know, I don't know if you noticed, but whether it's me or another artist or whatever, it's always about medical bills. You know, I mean, if I can say I, this morning that, you know, medical cost, man, is just outrageous. Uh, I can attest to that personally. <laughs> I know yeah, that I mean, firsthand. Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure you can. And I, and, I, and while, we're, while with that being said, I um, praying for Linda, and I hope she's doing well this morning. Um, but once again, you know, to me, man, it's um, about the medical thing, you know, medical costs and stuff, is, and, and charge, the charges and stuff, it, it's just outrageous these days, no matter what it is. If you, you can go to the emergency room with a sprained ankle or a broken arm, and, you know, it would be in the thousands of dollars. So I can't even begin to imagine people that, is facing what they're facing, whether it's cancer or uh, heart attacks or, you know, surgeries or whatever. I mean, because the medical cost is just outrageous. Um, now, getting back, I, I've got a benefit that I'll be doing in April, uh, like I said, in uh, South Carolina, uh, and that will be for a young man that has a brain tumor. Um, and I'm not for sure. I think the one that I'm doing in Metropolis, Illinois, uh, has to do with pediatric cancer. And um, I usually catch up on the details, Bob. I'm really sorry. I've been so busy uh, lately and stuff. But I usually, you know, really catch up on, on all the details. But most of the time, you know, when I receive a call or I receive a message and, and somebody asks me to do uh, one of these shows um, to help people, usually my main focus is, yes, I will. And then I'll, I'll get all the details on it um, as we go. But, yeah, I've got several more coming up. And as a matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, I think James has asked me they've got another one that they're going to be doing in April. Don't know the date or whatever. So I'll actually uh, be doing a round three uh, with family taking a stand. And I don't know what that calls or what that will be for yet. But we still got more. And, um, and we're willing to do more and we'll keep doing and, I, and, I, and and for that, like I said, I, I have to thank you for showing that you you have such a big heart to help others that are definitely in need. Because like like you said, you know the the costs, the medical costs are astronomical. Okay, to give you an idea, you know my own my my own wife who who just uh, got out of the hospital yesterday, you know for the emergency room and for the one night that she was at uh, the hospital that bill was is almost five thousand dollars so yeah i i can understand uh you know firsthand about the 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 need being there because you know if you have such a tra uh tragic event such as Corey having to have this liver transplant or jessica uh who trying to walk because of the 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 mellitus issue you know it, it isn't just going to be the insurance company covering so much that they're going to have other recurring uh, expenses as well. And, you know, once again, Sean, I got to thank you for being one of many artists, you know, stepping to the plate, so to speak, and helping these families out. But I but, you know, getting back to what I was saying earlier, you know, y you made it very clear in what you're saying is that it seems to me, you know, and, and I and I hate to sound like I'm being repetitious here. But it seems to me 
that independent artists are more willing to step to the plate than the big names because it seems like the big names you have to give them you know mega dollars up front they'll think about it but yet it seems that everyone you know and i'm gonna and, and i don't want to focus it just uh mainly on the country music scene but the, the independent artists all seem to, to when when there's this need they will rally together and not ask for thousands and thousands of dollars you know I'm I'm wondering why why can't mainstream you know be like the independents is there that much of a difference between you guys and mainstream well yes actually there is and the difference is when we say mainstream or let's say you know household name to per se right that's um, kind of what I meant you know with artists and stuff, you know, you have to look at it from, when you look at it from an entertainment uh, business perspective, you know, they get focused on, or a lot of them are focused on, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm fighting a cold this morning. That's fine. Um, a lot of them are focused on what their name is going to draw or how much money is somebody going to make on this event because of my name. And so, to me, it goes back to what a person's focus is, what your perspective is. You know, to me, I mean, if I was in that position, once again, not to pass judgment, but especially if I was in that position of being a mainstream artist, um, I definitely would even do more, you know. I would do more. Of course, that's me. That's just my opinion. I'm an individual. I have an opinion like everybody else does in the world. Uh, the next artist next to me may have a different perspective and different reasons for the reasons that they do or do not do things. Um, but I think it has to do with basically, you know, my name is this, I've had this many hit records, I've won these awards. And so if your perspective or your focus is totally on that, you're going to really miss what it's all about. You're going to miss, you know, what what we should be doing as people on earth while we have a chance here on earth to either make a difference or just to stand back and just watch this stuff take place with people and with children and stuff. And so, once again, I'm just, um, I believe that one candle can light many candles. And if there's a lot of candles lit in the world, then the world's going to be a brighter place, Bob. You know, I, I agree with you 100% there because, you know, the, the thing is, is I don't care, you know, if you're a big name talent or if you're, you know, an up and comer or, or just starting to get into the music industry. When people are in need, you know, I feel, and, and this is my personal opinion, and like you said, opinions are like assholes and everybody's got one. Of course, you didn't use that language. I did. But, you know, the, the thing... I'm trying to be nice this morning, Bob. Can you let me be nice a little bit? <laughs> I'll let you be nice. I'll be the hard nose. How's that? I try. <laughs> <laughs> but the the thing but the thing is it's true it seems that you, you brought it out very clearly is that the you know the big name talents the the Taylor Swift the uh, you know Bruce Springsteen the the uh, Bonos the you know Paul McCartney's you know they're not they they seem to be yes we're we we're getting around this event but you know I I, I also want to self promote but here we have the independent artists who are doing it not for their namesake but because it is a cause they can get behind you know it is something that they feel is a necessity to get behind you know and and it's it's that. Uh, unique, I want to say unique ability for you guys, and I'm, I'm gonna, and I hate to put you in a, in a generalized category here, but for you guys to to be able to support this and not self promote, and I gotta really thank you for being able to decipher the two where it seems that the you know other guys can't, you know, and uh, 
But you you did bring up another thing, and I want to get back. We we got about five minutes left here. You said you've got other projects. You you've got a project that's in the works. I'm assuming it's a you know you're, you're working on a, a, a music. You want to tell us a little bit about that before we have to sign off here? Well, yeah, I sure will, Bob. Um, I'm in the process of writing a new, uh, or actually a debut country project. I've got some music. We're, we're running a little late on getting it re- released to, um, I'm just going to release it to Reverb Nation and YouTube for right now. Uh, and that is uh, like some blue southern rock. Uh, and it has some instrumentals on it, which is some stuff that I wrote and recorded. So we're getting ready to get that up and running here, uh, hopefully in the next few days. And I'm just taking my time because as an artist, not only as an artist, but let me say as a songwriter and as an artist, um, it's really important to me of what you want to say. And it's not just about what I want to say, but it's about what I want to represent and to share my experiences and what I've learned, lessons that I've learned in life, and also to share hope that I have a lot of hope in life now. And out of all of the things that I believe that one point in life, let's say that this world was perfect, like the Bible says in the Garden of Eden, and then once that covenant was broken between man and God, all of these things that come into the world, I believe that the last thing that's there that hasn't been taken, that was given for each and every one of us on this planet, and that is hope. Now I'm going to put you on the spot here. All right. Okay. The spot is we get a copy of this music so we can air it, right? Yes, sir. Absolutely. You'll be one of the first to get it. I promise that. <laughs> See, I told no you. No matter what's been said, I am a man of my word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I know that. I know that for a fact. You are definitely a man of your word. And I got one other quick question for you, and then I'm going to ask you one final question. And. Hey. Uh, and the, sim- the question is simply this. I have what we call a wall of fame. No, not a wall of shame, a wall of fame. And I want to ask you right now, how would you like to have your picture on that wall of fame? Man, that would be great. Actually, I have, to be honest, I have two walls. I have a wall of fame and a wall of shame. But I'm going to break out <laughs> good stuff from the, from the hall of fame there, and I would love to be able to uh, send you a picture or something there to go on Bob Williams' uh, Hall of Fame. Well, the Hall of Fame, whatever well, we want to call it. Well, the yes, no, would, no, no, it's, it's, I, I would, uh, I would be honored to do so. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, on uh, on your Facebook message, I'll leave an address uh, to mail it. Just make sure it's an autograph, co- you know, picture, and then mail it to us. We'll get you up on the wall of sh- the wall of fame. Now, to give you an idea, who's up on that wall of fame? You know, going over my entire uh, history in uh, broadcasting, you're going to be up there with the likes of Gene Simmons, Paul Stanley, ACDC, Alice Cooper, uh, and many others. So, that, like I said, you know, uh, you're going to be up there. Jimmy Parker's on that wall to give you a, a clue of who you're going to be in company with. Wow, that's amazing. Have uh, you ever played golf with Alice Cooper, man? I hear that he's really a great golfer. Uh, no, I wish I had. Uh, he came in the studios uh, back in the early 1980s, and I did an interview with him. Uh, but it was great. It was great having him on. I, I want to get one, one, one more quick question before we go. Right now, okay. if people want to hear your music or to know more about you, uh, do you have a website? Do you have a Facebook page they can go to? How can they contact you? Yeah, once again... Um as uh, James Napier said one time, I live in the glass house. You can find me at uh, Facebook. You can find me at uh, Nashville Music Pros. Um, but basically, right now we're using I'm using the Facebook thing quite a bit. There's a lot that goes on there, you know, good and bad on Facebook. And uh, but we're working on um, getting a new website designed, working on music and all of that. So. Basically, you know, my focus right now is to is to keep my commitments with the benefits and stuff that I'm doing, and you know, and get out here and just try to make a difference. And that's my first, you know, fo- focus right now, uh, Bob. And then I, I believe that all of the rest of it will fall in place. But we're basically, you know, um, 
we're, we're still getting things together and up and running and just moving forward and doing something every day uh, to get bigger and better, hopefully. And with that, Sean, I'm going to ask you to hang on, you know, because I, I do want to talk to you for a minute. To, you know, what can I tell you, everybody? Everybody else, wow. It's time for me to get out of here. Stay tuned because coming up right after NPR News, the one, the only, Ed Till will be with you till 4 o'clock. Until tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., this is Bob Williams. Take care of yourselves. Thank you.